Trick struck out as well back in the third. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking on the inner half. A fastball at 88. Sends Frick walking back to the away dugout. Yeah, Frick freezes like he doesn't like this one, but let's, that's a really good pitch there by Firavet yep. on the inner half. Actually starts middle and runs in on the right-hander, so good. Arm side run for the right-handed pitcher, Coach Fecto and the Hokies. Gets the first out of the inning. It's like, at least Hokie fans, Hokie students, are trying to replicate something like that here in Blacksburg. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I think they definitely are. And I think the numbers will continue to grow as the pandemic allows. And that's a really good thing for Coach Chef and this ball club. They're trying to build something internally. But as he mentioned, trying to create an environment that's challenging for the opposing team to come in and play. Not really something Virginia Tech's ever had. I played 15, 20 years ago, early 2000s now. We definitely didn't have that edge. Struck him out, inner half, two away. The fifth strikeout for Graham Fearavet. And that kind of productivity is going to do it, keep the fans involved. That one's on the inner half. And take a look, Hokies are fired up. They like it, they're punching out. Tomas Frick today, a single back in the first since then, a strikeout walk and a strikeout. He's one for three with an RBI. Drove in the first run of the game. Three, two, he struck him out. A breaking ball, Frick not happy. It has some words for home plate umpire Brandon Henson. Uh, Frick didn't like it. Looked good from here. Cyberling goes off speed. Look at him hook it. And to Frick's point, Hunter had to go the other way. But again, I think that ball catches the plate. They were just hoping to execute inside half, and they didn't. Ended up outside half. So poor judgment there by Frick. Strike three for Cyberling, and umpire gets that one correct at the plate. Danny Sorrell.